Hey, what's up guys? It's Robbie here. I'm gonna walk you through my squat day again. With the running, it's important that I don't do too much legs, especially as I'm ramping up to my next half. Um, all I wanna do is keep them stimulated, keep the muscle mass there, keep the strength there. And basically I don't want my leg session to ruin a potentially comfortable run, especially in the week. I don't do a lot. As you can see in today, I do literally three things on a Tuesday and I do three things on a Thursday. I'll cover a Thursday day on a different video, but for today we're gonna to go through my Tuesday session, which is gonna be safety bar squat, reverse hyperextension, and then wheeling the torque tank around a little bit. So let's get on with it. So why do I use the safety bar? One, because it's padded on the shoulders, <laughs> pretty much. Um, I do it mainly for comfort. I find I'm not, I find when I'm doing strength training just for the sake of being strong and I'm not looking for any specific strength, I'm not trying to improve my back squat or improve my front squat. I like to use a bar that's not gonna compromise my shoulders or cause any issues with my shoulders. Like sometimes I'm gonna bar my back here or in the front row position if I'm doing progressive overload on it or doing sort of fives and threes sometimes my shoulders don't feel pretty good, it just feels a bit uncomfortable. So the safety bar just mitigates that. But also a big goal of mine is obviously running strength. So the safety bar puts a ton of pressure trying to push me forward. So I have to fight against it by staying as upright as I can. And I feel it a ton in my glutes, my hamstrings, as well as my quads. So I find the safety bar really complements my goal in becoming a stronger runner. So I get the comfort out of the shoulders and the upper back, and I get the strain mostly in my posterior chain. So that's Basically why I do safety bar. So today I've got five sets of five. We'll see how we get on. Let's go on with Reverse Hyper, literally my favorite machine in my gym here. The reason is, is that it's a pure posterior chain blaster with none of the compressive load that, you know, doing a deadlift or a Jefferson curl or, um, or an RDL has. There isn't a back pump like it. Like I've done a ton of back workouts, but you know, either side of the spine, those muscles just get hit so hard as well as the glutes and the hamstrings. And it just, it does me a ton of good for my posture. Obviously, you know, my job being you know, not just a PT, but also a sports massage therapist, me being over the top of people a lot, ends up causing my posture to be a little bit lazy at times. I find the machine keeps my back strong and healthy, but also helps me sort of, if I have a day of massage therapy where I'm over people a lot, it kind of helps pull me back up. I like to do sort of the larger rep range, sort of anywhere north of 10 to 20. Um, but for today, I'm gonna kind of build up. I haven't done reverse hyper in a little bit. Um, didn't train much lower body or or any back last week, so this is my first week of doing legs again properly. So let's get on with that, and then uh, then we'll move on to tall tank last. Let's go.
Right like guys, tour tank's finished. I'm, really, I'm literally just going to push it only. So kind of like a sled on wheels. Um, got 100 kilos on there. Put it on level one. So basically these different levels are how much dynamic resistance there is, so how much it fights back. I'm only going to put it on level one and I'm just going to do a minute of movement there and back and a minute of rest. I'm just going to run that for four rounds and then that's literally going to be my leg day for the day. Right guys, let's get the first set on the way. Do up your laces tight. I felt my feet slipping out on the way back on that third and fourth one. Woo. So that's one down. Three to go. Round two. Let's go. Done. Four rounds, one minute on, one minute off. Trust me, that's enough. After today, that's plenty. Ooh, give me a minute. Oh, okay, feel a little better now. That's it for today, guys. That is my Tuesday leg day. Again, just three exercises at a good level of intensity, building up every week as I get nearer an event, like a, well, the half marathon in this case. I tend to take the week before it as the deload, or even, and then the week after it, funny enough, I actually don't train legs. I just allow my legs to recover. As I get a bit fitter, a bit stronger in the legs to manage the distance of the half marathon, where I feel like I don't need the week off, I'll probably do a second deload, almost like two maintenance days on legs either side of that weekend that I go do the half marathon. And I think that will be appropriate for me. So, ooh. Right now I'm just trying to not stand still, I'm just trying to walk it off. I know there's a ton of lactate in my legs right now, so I'm just trying to actively recover by walking and trying to control my breathing, shake my legs off a bit with movement, rather than just sit down and lie on my back. I feel like that doesn't really teach my body what I want it to do. I want to be able to slow down and still move and recover at the same time. So active recovery, it's a real thing. Um, but yeah, that's it for today, guys. See you guys in another video. Peace.